Do you know Kuba? Kuba <laughs> is a kind of NAB show. It's a broadcast equipment here in Korea. So it was in May. So KBS uh, presented a lot of solutions for the USD this year. So today I'm going to introduce some of them. This is the future of our US service. So today I will briefly introduce the background. And uh, current, it is we call that UHD phase one. <coughs> And the uh, next phase, what we are preparing, and the last part will be the future of with the BD. So this is a brief uh, introduction of our evolution of TV. Uh, the yes, this part is a positive matter. This is interactivity. So we are going to this place. So. Korea tried a lot of things with 3D TV, but now uh, UHD TV is very popular, uh, not much of the 3D TV. Uh, we also have the DMB, TDMB, there is a mobile phone solution. So it is now expanded to the smart mobile, hybrid mobile services. We do the service right now. Every, maybe, the Korean maker, LG and Samsung phone, here in Korea has the TDMB. Receiver. So, without any telecommunication solution, we can watch the, our terrestrial broadcasting. And the last part will be the interactive service. It is now extended the OTT, part of the services. So, we are interested in this point. We are headed for UHD and mobile and interactive. So, this is what we are heading for. And both uh, we want another thing, this is a crucial. The people watch the video, it is now broadcasting and video with the mobile and the intelligence and with other people. That is, the, I think, the three new persons in our broadcasting media. So, we go to the first phase. So, this is a frequency map of Korea. So, and then the TDMB is in the VSL. And the USC, there is DTV and UHCB. Actually, UHCB is on the more than 700 megahertz. So, this is a 700 megahertz band. There is a UHD. Uh, we have the three major broadcasters, KBS, SBS, and NBC. So, KBS has one and two, two USD channels, six megahertz, SBS, and NBC, and EBS. Actually, this band should be used by telecommunication, right? So we will use this frequency for 10 years. And after that, we will move without using this place. We will transition. We will do the transition from the DQD to the DQD at the lower band. So on uh, May 2017, Korea started the world's first ATS 3.0 standard based regular broadcasting. And there were many ceremonies. Actually, this was the um, first of before our Winter Olympic Games, Pyeongchang, 2018. So at the time, we did a lot of uh, presentation and demos. This is a UHD mobile bus. And there are uh, screens. So Participants in the Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games, they can enjoy the mobile and 4K USB services together. And WRAR, the US broadcaster, reported that. And we also compared our TDMB service. You know, uh, TDMB is evolved. So now we are, actually it was uh, 60, 640 to 240, but uh, now we have 720 key service, and it is called the HDDMB. So, usually used the mobile compared with the HDDMB service. <coughs> so, we, of our broadcasters, installed a uh, 3.0 and then chain, and now we have a uh, workflow with that. So, it was a big change, a lot of change compared to the ATS 1.0 to 2.0. Because it is totally IP-based service. That means that it is kind of service-oriented. So now we can extend our broadcasting service and contents. 
with the help of broadband connection. So our first phase, actually, we just only do this one. Okay, that's all. So we did some kind of IP-based transport and hybrid broadcast of applications, but most of them are concentrated on the 4K video service. But now we want to move to our next phase. They do include a lot of many features from HS3.0. So we do the UHS service, our government gave us regulations for that. We should make UHS content and every year we should increase the portion. So now 2019, we have 15%, uh, next year 25, and the more year, uh, then 50% uh, to 100%. To 2027 is our the transition, our deadline. Uh, if there is no other things, we should do that. IP convergence, a lot of IP convergence services is tried. For example, IP gateway enables smart terminal, ESG service and broadband service URL and indoor reception is now possible. So this is an example of our IP service. Uh, TVBA, it is our brand name of Terrestrial Broadcaster Hybrid Broadcaster. It is based on HBB TV. But uh, now it must look like a normal OTT service. It does not confine its contents to the channel where it comes from. It contains a lot of OTT media. It just connect like water. So, it's example, this is the demo. The travel contents and drama contents and the sports contents. That is very hot items. That kind of fee is provided by our TV bar, I mean the hybrid service. So US TV connects to the TV bar. So next thing is that about rollout plan, that is uh, where and when the US broadcast is start. As mentioned before, expand service area to six metropolitan area on 2017. And we will expand, but uh, we need more frequencies. So, from 2019, we will really allocate the frequency, especially the frequencies of the relay stations. Let's see the plans. The major characteristic is that the U.S. service deployed in between the existing DTV frequency band. What you should do? Because uh, kind of offer is in that in order not to interfere with the existing USB asset and service coverage. So for confirming the U.S. frequency, we should have the criteria, the protection ratio between 1.0 and 83.0 for channel and object channel interference. So updating the ITR recommendation is simultaneously under focus. And as we start the 83.0 service workforce, we should have to develop, evaluate, broadcast equipment, production, and transmit things. So KBS has built a certification center for that purpose. So IP flow and many other things related to the point of the kind of interoperability and the relation is made in our certification center. So this is the first phase. We go to the our second phase. It will be started from next year. So we are preparing mobile service. So this is a not a USB dongle based external receiver. Now we prepared. So you may see it from the H3 demos. But uh, it will be uh, we expecting the H3 point chipset embedded smartphone. So we can achieve that kind of mobile USB service. But there is many competition. How can we achieve that kind of mobile service? Some people is, uh, insist that UHD we can lower the bit rate that it ensures kind of uh, reception performance. There is only one physical pipe you can service, 4K and mobile altogether. Other people say that we need 
special I mean designated mobile to key service besides a fixed for key service. So there is some kind of uh, discussion about that. So we tested all of those things. So we made two display types. One is a USB mobile and the other is a 4K USB the targeted for the fixed reception. So the display performance is that 4K service with a 30 a 70 megabps it is packing states 15.5 QB. That means that almost similar to 8 is 1.0. And for the mobile service 5.5 dB QB. It's almost it's a little bit better than the, our TDMB service with the HD 2.4 megabps. And one more, so many, some of our testers insist that we can do that with only one pipe. So that is 11.5 Mbps USB, so we can expect 4K and mobile all together. We tried to prove that. Uh, with the we compare, comparison is uh, TDMB services. So we did the test, actually we did a lot of tests. This is some um, uh, example. Here uh, in Seoul, there is a lot of buildings. So in ATS 1.0, building was very bad thing. It makes a kind of ghost. But now it helps in like the relay stations. So the reception is really good. Almost all the reception was good besides some part, some point. And this is uh, outskirts of the Seoul in Gyeonggi area. You can go outside. Uh, we can find that the mobile HD is best one, and USB mobile is also good, even better than TDMB. That means that USB mobile is also there is a possibility. Actually, we are testing a lot until now. So there is another issue which called the handle. So it's an internal handle. That means that. If we assume that the HD mobile and 4K the same contents, then if we move around, if there is enough signal, then you can get a 4K perfect signal. And if there is uh, not good signal, then it so automatically move to mobile one. We don't consider, we don't have to consider SSVC. We can switch it seamlessly with the separate file. So second one is the inter-channel handle. That means that uh, current peninsula, we, if we move from Seoul to Busan, then there is a seven frequency changes. In that case, between the frequencies, there should be perfect seamless handle. It should be there. Other thing is that inter-network handle. That means that uh, we are providing our content by the broadcast and also to the broadband. In that case, we can make some kind of uh, seamless chains all together that can help each other for the their reception performance. Yes. The second one is that immersed learning a lot. So, ATS 3.0 is really good video for this kind of emergent service. So we are preparing this kind of warning system. So from July this year, we will start public EWS. And from next year, for the US TV, we will Public EWS means that this is a sign is it? There is a personal visible there, so you can get some kind of emergency warning. This is a public place like theater and the hospital even the bus. In many metropolitan area, there is a lot of screens there, so we can get the immersion warning through the UHD broadcasting signal. Like this. And for the USTV, we make a lot of the scenario for that. For example, uh, we are promoting our disaster warning system like here. So I'll briefly show this. This is a kind of promotional thing for the government people and many things. 
So it's an kind of example to this. So sorry for this is a Korean. Mm, there is a unconnected thing. Only the on air service. If there is a emergency, then you can get the answer. And many other things, this kind of graphic or video information, but it's very limited because it's only serviced by the broadcasting. But if there is a broadband, then you can get a lot of things more. If there is a kind of emergency situation with the broadband, you can get many things from the broadband. You can get many information. Even the system like this. So this kind of a scenario we are preparing for the next year of the USTB. Yes. So NAB show, we show this system. This is an AT3 system, emergency alarm server and transmission. So, so when the emergency is emulator, so maybe five or six seconds later, there is a emergency warning. So you can make shorter. So that is very important thing because, for example, earthquake case, that kind of time is very important for the UHD thing, it is uh, possible. Mm -hmm. Yes. The third one is the object-based audio. Maybe Stefan will introduce this board, so we are preparing this one. And the next one, HDR. You make a lot of contents with HDR, so you prepare for that. So this year, Cuba, we produce this kind of HDR demo. The next one is the advanced okay. Actually, it is a very successful business model with our PDMP services. Every uh, cards in here, they receive the ticket information, I mean, traffic information from the broadcasting signal, even the emergency warning. Also, so this year, our one of our broadcasters they implemented RTK, that means kind of GPS. So it makes the GPS signal perfect. So it is an autonomous vehicle can be applied. So that could be another option for our so USB mobile service. So nowadays, cars have a lot of screens and. They need video, radio, PNB, and uh, USB mobile. And also, they need uh, information from traffic, uh, kind of public information. So, so all of those things can be possible by the H3.0. So this is a demonstration from SPP, this NAB show, the single layer. So it was very impressive, a demonstration, because um, inside the car, there is a OTA, that means that from the air, the live broadcasting and the navigation service that is called kind of TP and the OTT kind of thing. So it is kind of the feature of our mobile broadcasting service. So what will happen next? So this is all the way of watching video. Maybe this kind of thing happened today also. But nowadays, People are interested in the mobile for their own contents. When they have dinner, their meeting, even during the day, they are watch their own phones. So that kind of a trend. So this is a linear showing of some kind of contents. But now people have a smartphone. It is kind of expanded space, and they can find what they want. It is expanded of time. So time and space, it is expanded. So I don't think that this is the end of TV because TV is good video infra for us as before. But we can enjoy video every time and every place that is 
uh, expand the video market, we should follow the trend. So IPTV goes up the market, and many young people enjoy the video through the smartphone. So this kind of video is very important. In conclusion, we Korean broadcasting broadcasters often increase the direct reception users and make the first platform more possible with the connection of the broadband service. And we believe that 83.0 USB broadcasting is core and essential for achieving that. So 83.0 will link consumer-oriented media network, mobile, and then services, conversion, and connection, and intelligence. So with the benefits of the broadcast network, the internet it will make it possible. So this is a people, TV, and smartphone, full this smartphone, PC, and autonomous car, AR, VR, and artificial intelligence. So everything can be connected by broadband and at 3.0. So it is a matter of how to connect the content. So now this is the end of my presentation. Thank you.